Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 8 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem 2.1 to 2.5, exercises 2.1 and 2.2, examples 1 to 8 and questions 1 to 7 from exercise 2.3. So if you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 8 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangle says, E is a point on the side AD produced of a parallelogram ABCD and BE intersects CD at F. Show that triangle ABE is similar triangle CFB. First of all, let us draw a parallelogram ABCD. So this is a parallelogram ABCD. Now they are saying us that E is a point on the side AD produced. So if we produce the side AD, we get a point E and BE. So we have to draw a line BE which intersects CD at point F. So let us draw a line BE which intersects CD at point F. So now we have to prove triangle ABE that is triangle ABE is similar to triangle CFB. So now let us consider these two triangles that is ABE and CFB. So write down in triangle ABE and triangle CFB. If you have studied your previous classes about a parallelogram, suppose we have a parallelogram ABCD, then we have studied that the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So here angle A will be equal to angle C and angle D will be equal to angle B. These are the properties of a parallelogram which says angle A is equal to angle C and angle D is equal to angle B. So same thing if you apply here in a figure, we see a parallelogram ABCD. And the angles here, so angle A will be equal to angle C. So angle A of triangle ABE will be equal to the angle C of triangle CFB. Right? So write down angle A will be equal to angle C. That is because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Write down opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. And also the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. So AD is parallel to BC. So when we consider two parallel lines and a transversal passing through a parallel lines, then you can observe here that a Z formation happens here. Whenever a Z formation happens, I've already explained you in my previous videos, the alternate angles will be equal whenever there is a Z formation. So here you can see two parallel lines and a transversal pa passing through it. So these two angles will be equal because there is a Z formation. So similarly, if you apply in your figure, you have a Z formation that is from AE B to C, we have a Z formation. Therefore, we can say that the angle E will be equal to angle B, right? Because they are alternate angles. So write down angle E will be equal to angle B, alternate angles. Why are they alternate? Because the sides AE is parallel to BC. Okay, since AE is parallel to BC. So here you can observe two angles of these two triangle ABE and CFB are equal. Therefore, we can apply the angle angle property where if two angles of two triangles are equal, then we can say that by angle angle similarity criteria, we can say that the triangle ABE is, is similar to triangle CFB. Okay, so write down by angle angle similarity criteria triangle ABE is similar to triangle C. 
CFP. Okay, so this is very simple. Only thing is that you have to draw the figure according to the statement or the question given and we have to check the angles which will be equal in the two triangles given and then we have to apply the similarity criteria and prove that the two triangles are similar. So if you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 9 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2, triangle. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen. Thank you.